Hey guys, 91 Extreme RT here with a new Unigen Valley Benchmark tool. Now, I'm going to be running this on my current gaming PC. I'm thinking about doing some upgrades to it, and I just want to run this benchmark as a baseline uh, so I know uh, what my pr improvements are when I uh, get my new stuff now. I am going to be recording it with Fraps, so the numbers will be slightly lower than, you know, if I'd run it without Fraps and not record it to put it on YouTube or whatever, but it, it should be fairly close. Um, I recently did to get a... Uh, Samsung 840 Pro uh, solid state drive, uh, 256 gig, but uh, that won't matter in a benchmark really due to the fact that it's going to be mostly uh, CPU, uh, video card, and RAM bound. So uh, let's uh, turn the sound on here and run this benchmark. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy. That wasn't too bad uh, for running Fraps. Uh, this computer uh, champed it pretty good. There wasn't really any hic hiccups at all. I did run it in 1920 by 1080. I ran it under the Extreme HD uh, preset. I had 8x, uh, 
what was it, anti-aliasing. So everything was set to the max. All the filters were on, all the shadows were on, everything was on, all the tessellation to the max. And uh, I still pulled some pretty good numbers. And the exact graphics card that I have is the HIS Radeon HD 6970 uh, Turbo Ice Q. Um, I think the card I paid when I paid bought it like a year ago. Um, it was like 350 bucks or 360 dollars. It's pretty expensive 6900 series card, but um, you can overclock them, clock them quite quite a bit. So uh, the stock clock. Uh, on the card is 800 megahertz. I overclocked it all the way up to 945, and uh, I can actually go higher than that. Like, I've gotten it stable up to like 985, and I've gotten it stable up to like 1600 on memory. So, and uh, it just cooked along in this uh, pretty good. Um, like I said, it was 1080p, and my temperature really didn't get over 60 to 63 degrees Celsius uh, on full max load. And according to my little LCD screen here on my keyboard, it was um, it was loading it pretty good. So uh, the processor bleh, the processor I have is a AMD Phenom 2 X4 960T uh, for Thuban. It's actually an unlockable processor. Now I only ran it on on the four cores in this benchmark, and uh, I can actually unlock it to six cores, which is what I do when I play my games. I just wanted to run the gra or run the processor stock the way it is out of the box with just some overclock on it. And uh, if you looked at the thing at the end of the benchmark, uh, it said I was at like uh, 36, 12 megahertz. Um, so 3,600 megahertz, yeah. And so 3.6 gigahertz, and the stock clock on that uh, processor is 3 gigahertz. So... Um, and that, you know, I mean, it pretty much ran flawlessly. So pretty much on, well, I got a half X case and I have an old motherboard. I mean, the motherboard, RAM, graphics, uh, and CPU, and heatsink I have all together minus my $200 half X case. Um, you could build a gaming PC that does graphics this good and runs it this smoothly and does that good of a benchmark for literally under 500 bucks, And that's... You know, processor, motherboard, RAM, graphics card, heat sink, and uh, hard drives, and everything, and a cheap case. You could probably do it for under 500 bucks. And so, you don't need a very expensive system to pull good good numbers because my system pulls, uh, you know, pretty much max FPS in every game I play, like Rift or Skyrim or any of that. So, um, so there you have it. Uh, this was pretty much my uh, my AMD gaming setup. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.